Hello people from Reframe, creative people as I heard. My name is Jonas Montiano and I'm one of the founders of the Urbi application. Uh, I had some uh, interesting talks today with uh, Christina and Vlad and Sibyl. I would say that uh, it's a kind of a newspaper on its phone. But it's smarter than that because it will remind uh, him daily um, about what's new and interesting for him in the city. Like it's uh, no, favorite events, popular music, whatever. Urbi has to be personal. Urbi is about you and your city life. It brings you daily suggestions like uh, where to have a coffee in the morning or where to have a quick uh, lunch and is constantly filtering for events that fit your profile. It contains a flux of information with what's new and trendy in the city and it's you have a list of local services in case you need maybe a pharmacy open at 4 a.m. in the morning or a car service if something bad happened with your car. Nevertheless, you can discover and find out new and interesting places or things to do by watching other people in your community. Tell me, what is creativity for you? It's a process in which I mix a level of intuition with a level of imagination. Uh, it's always a little bit of hard work and sweat and uh, patience when I uh, put things together or uh, create things is that I have some kind of knowledge from different ar areas, yes, fields. So uh, I'm passionate about construction, I'm passionate about uh, psychology or sociology. Mm -hmm. So I take things from that I learn in other areas or industries and I try to combine them in my, my, uh, in my work. First of all, I think technology is abstract, it's neither good or bad, it's just the way it is. But uh, our judgments and beliefs and definitions are making it uh, bad or good or whatever in between. I guess on 12 she's gonna have a lot of uncertainties and moods and she's going to change her mind from day to day. But by 35, which we all agree that it's the age of maturity, we probably going to see something predictable, something that we know how to work with and what should we expect out of it. And who knows, maybe by 70, if she's not dead already, we'll have a lot of, uh, I don't know, wisdom. What was your biggest Failure and how did you overcome it? I think I have a lot of failures and uh, what still makes me doing other failures is that I learn out of them. The stupid thing is to try to do the same thing and expect different results. So I prefer to say that I didn't have failures but I have a lot of lessons and that what keeps me uh, going on. What does a creative business mean from your point of view? First of all, being creative in business means to understand people. Because whatever you do in business, in the end, you, you, you do, for, do for people. I think it's a, it's a misjudgment here. A lot of people are consider uh, businesses as not something creative or, I don't know, in, in, in the space of what we understand by art. But if you look at the most successful people in the business, and the most successful artists, uh, you're gonna see some patterns, some common attributes that, that uh, they all share. Being creative in business means, as being creative as general, try to put some things together to give a new sense and find new ways to accomplish something. 